Richie from This Is Real Life here and welcome to my Hotec wireless microphone review. Now, I actually run another YouTube channel which is based upon RC cars. It involves me moving around quite a lot and sometimes the sound from the camera can be a bit of an issue. But before we get onto this, let me show you the microphone I'm currently using. Then let's unbox this, test it out and check out the sound difference between the two. Well, this is the Tackstar shotgun mic that I'm using at the minute which gets a very good recommendation on Amazon. However, my viewers are still saying, Richie, the sound could do with improving. So, I've purchased this Hotec wireless headset with a lavalier microphone to use in my videos. I say both, as it does come with the headset microphone as well as a separate clip-on of a lavalier microphone, and I will test both of them in this video. So let's see what we get for our money. We get our instruction manual, read that in a second. Customer service card saying to contact them as opposed to Amazon in the event of any problem. Our transmitter that clips on your belt there. Our receiver, which plugs into the camera. Now I'm hoping they provide an adapter for that. A clip-on Lavalier microphone, which is the one that I shall be using in my RC car videos. A headset microphone, which I'll also test in this video. A USB cable there for charging up both the transmitter and the receiver at the same time. And the mic setup comes with two adapter leads. One for your camera, which is the one I'll be using today, and one for plugging into your phone. So I'm going to set that one aside for the minute. The receiver simply plugs in there and that's going to plug in the side of my camera where the existing mic goes. Okay, been reading the instructions and this is very neat. I think we've got quite a treat in store for us. Now, these will last between four and six hours when fully charged and they'll also work at up to 100 feet apart on here. And I was wondering what these two parts are for. Well, if we screw them together, then we have the basics of a little clamp. The receiver end clicks in here and this is then going to clamp where my existing microphone is taking the weight of the receiver on the top and giving me ample room to plug the microphone into the side of the camera. Very neat. Well, taking a quick look at the receiver, first of all, we've got our on-off switch here, USB charging port here, charging light here, which is red when charging, green when fully charged on here, battery light indicator here. If it's red, it needs to put it on charge. If it's blue, it's fully charged. The light in the center lights up when it is paired with that transmitter. Now the transmitter, simply got on-off switch on the top, clip on the back, microphone input in there, and the microphone actually screws to the top of the transmitter so it's not going to pull loose. And the microphone cord is probably the best part of four foot long. Okay, I've turned it on to test it. Now on here, I believe these are actually the volume buttons, which you can move up and down using the left and right on there. And despite there being no battery indicator on the top, you can clearly see there is a battery indicator on the display here, as there is a signal strength meter compared to the receiver on here. It hops between 25 different channels, so very little should interfere with this. Now to turn the receiver on. Now, how do we know if it's paired? Well, the little light in the middle here, when I speak into the microphone, should flash. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. So, my microphone is definitely working. Anyway, time to get the existing microphone off this camera and test this one out. So to install it, simply removing my existing microphone, unplug that. Then I'm going to slide my new Hotec microphone receiver onto the top of the camera. Spin that down, lock that in place, plug that in the side of my camera, and we should be ready to go. Now, you don't have to worry too much about the direction of this, as obviously it's wireless. Okay, I'm still working on my existing microphone at the minute. The one thing I would say is this little tripod is actually designed to hold the transmitter separately from you, should you so wish. But yours truly is going to clip it on the back of my belt. But the next thing you're going to hear is me talking on this word into that camera. Well, first of all, I hope everyone can hear me well. It is very lightweight indeed. You're not really going to notice this, particularly if you're going to do like I'm going to do and clip it on behind you. That lead is about four foot in length, which is plenty. It means you've not got lots of excess wire to struggle to hide away, nor are you stretching to fit the lead to you. And in this test, we're just going to start out with it on volume 10, and then later on in the video, I'm going to turn it up to 20 to see what the differential is on there. This is going to be down to personal taste and, and down to the equipment that you are recording onto. Anyway, let me carry on talking. We're going to walk around the car back in just a second. But uh, the sound has been driving me crazy on my other RC car YouTube channel. Uh, as intermittently, I seem to get very good sound and at other times people complain about the sound. And I do listen to the feedback uh, from my uh, end users. As the other channel has about 40,000 subscribers. It is definitely best to pay attention to them. Anyway, hopefully you were able to hear 
the before and after on the set. Anyway, time to test the headset out, see how that works. But first of all, for a high volume test, it was on 10 just now. I've now turned it up to 20. Not sure until I play it back and listen to it like you guys. Okay, now it's time to test out the headset microphone. I'd shot all of the bit in between this and I'm talking to myself but with the microphone disconnected from this thinking I'm still talking to the shotgun mic which is no longer there on top of this. Anyway that's on volume 10 and moving up that is on the maximum volume of 20. Now the first time I'll hear this is when you're hearing it on the recording. Anyway I'm going to dull that back down to 10 and do a quick walk around test around the garage. Hopefully this will be a benefit to people. I'm probably walking up to about 15-20 feet away camera at this point. So, quick little test. I'm just about up here, back on screen, right now. Well now for my conclusions on the Hotec wireless microphone. I've shot this bit after looking at the video footage that I've just recorded. And I have to say, I really didn't like the sound from the headset. It could almost pick up my breathing on there. It sounded very, almost as always windy outside. Whether I would have helped if it moved it slightly further away from me, I'm not quite sure, but either on the low or the high volume, it still sounded like I was a bit talking in a muffled room on there with that wind noise coming through on the microphone. The volume mic is the one that I'm gonna use because that is ideal for when I'm walking around and talking with my remote controlled cars. Very, very easy to set up the Holtec wireless transmitter with the receiver that's attached to the top of the camera that you're hearing from now. And as I say, up to 100 feet range. I'm not range tested it, but given the quality of 15, 20 feet away from the car, there seems no degradation in sound sunny with moving short distances away from the camera. Anyway, I hope you liked today's review of the Hotec wireless microphone. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.